So a good, simple way of thinking about it um, is think of a garden hose. You've got it on full blast. The water's just going straight out forward. Um, it's kind of spraying everywhere a bit. But as soon as you put your thumb over the top, it paddles that gas, or sorry, that, that water in this case, uh, downward. And immediately you see an effect on you know, the spray pattern. So just like that, um, you want to paddle the gas downward to strike just below the bore and essentially impact it on itself. Uh, then it will still uh, disperse out the ports like you would with an otherwise traditional brake. Um, but you'll notice they're slotted so that, that um, the gas dispersion isn't just, think of the ports like a microphone. Uh, that's why, why you get the criticism sometimes that muzzle brakes can be loud, quote unquote, or concussive. Uh, but in this case, the, the ports um, actually kind of dither the gas, uh, not just outward laterally to the side, but also a little bit forward as well. So that's why you get a bit less concussion um, and not just recoil reduction. Okay, so it, it kind of works as like a, a linear compensator as well. A little bit, um, but I'd say that its mission, its main mission is to do two things and two things really well. Uh, we didn't design it to, to have it, uh, you know, a suppressor fit over or anything like that. We designed it from the ground up uh, with fluid dynamics to get that reticle to have as little movement as possible. 